What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cassandra Tay. We are talking about my Aldi grocery haul. My total today came to $318. It's a little higher than what I typically like to keep it. If you're new here, typically for my family of six, I like to keep my monthly grocery budget under $550. $550 is the high end for me. I really like to keep it closer to $500. I shop mostly at Aldi and then I'll go to Walmart to finish off um, a couple of things that I can't get at Aldi or I need in just a bigger supply than what Aldi provides. And then typically every three-ish months, I'll do a Sam's Club run and stock up on flours, sugars, baking supplies, um, rice, things like that, that we store in bulk in five gallon buckets. A lot of household products I'll also get from Sam's. So I really like to try to keep my Aldi budget to 250, my Walmart budget around 250, and then um, every couple of months, I'll add in a little bit of room in the budget to make sure that we're getting Sam's Club and getting our bulk purchases, which we kind of save for separately outside of our regular monthly grocery budget. So I'm a little high on the high end, but before I go to Aldi, I always put in my Walmart order and have everything sitting in the cart ready to go so I know what my total is. That way, when I'm heading into Aldi, I kind of have a better idea on what I actually have to spend. If my Walmart total is going to be higher, I try to keep my Aldi total lower or vice versa so we're doing that we are also the last couple of months i've been trying to buy a couple extra things every single month to put on the shelf heading into summer break extra snacks extra easy lunches for the kids that way when summer comes my grocery budget doesn't have to go up because i already have some things stuck away on the shelf so that's that we also got some different snacks this time we're switching things up and i have some new products that i'm loving the main reason my grocery budget is going to be a little bit busted this month is because this month is very busy for us. I started putting the fencing for the permaculture orchard and the permaculture orchard is going in this month. That being said, that's going to be very busy for us. On top of that, my husband is also taking his journeyman's final this month, which is in just a couple of days. And then after that, my husband is competing in a state contest through his local for his job. So he's going to have a lot of studying, a lot of traveling, a lot of him being preoccupied with some other things with his job and that means i'm going to be kind of picking up some extra slack and some extra things that he would be kind of normally taking on plus the permaculture orchard so it's going to be a lot this month we are just going to keep our head down and keep pushing and get through and they're all really good things they're good busy so that's really important to add but that being said i wanted to get some convenience items some things that are going to make my life easy i'm keeping dinners very simple this month and sometimes simple means pre-packaged or just some convenience style things from the store so that's what we're going through i also don't have a lot of freezer room right now so i didn't buy a lot of things in bulk um, to freeze and I didn't need any cheese this month because my husband is working at a dis distribution center for his job. He's putting in the piping there and doing some welding and whatever that they need over there. And because he's working there and they're a distribution center, any boxes that come in damaged, they sell whatever is in those boxes at a crazy discount to the workers there and they opened that to anybody that's doing work on the building all the construction workers and things and my husband's been bringing home a ton of cheese a ton of cream cheese dairy products he's even brought home like some coffee and some shelf stable things and that's absolutely amazing so i don't need any cheese this month because my freezers are full of discount cheese and cream cheese and things right now so we're gonna turn the camera around show you what i got for 318 dollars and if you're seeing any dietary gaps like i'm seeing i don't see a lot of vegetables or things like that um for meals like dinner wise frozen things i get those from walmart they do come in a separate order plus we garden and can a lot of our own things so you're not going to see a lot of meat here buy all that in bulk from local farmers those are already in our freezers we fish for all of our fish and that's kind of how we do things i get comments sometimes so i just want to touch on that super super quick because i know i get a ton of new people on these videos that's kind of how we do things. A lot of our vegetables we will grow and can. So that's where a lot of that is. Or we'll freeze, grow and freeze. So our freezers are full. That's why when I say our freezers are full, that's what they're full of. All of our local meats, all of our homegrown produce, um, 
and then everything else we just kind of buy to fill in our gaps get some fun things and then we make usually most of our snacks from scratch but you're gonna see some snacks here i just need extra help this month so i'm buying them to give myself a little bit of wiggle room setting myself up for success this month is kind of where i'm headed got eucalyptus and lavender that's what my older girls really like they have an essential oil diffuser in their room and they told me that they were getting low on some of these oils so I got two of them, that's what they asked for, and they had them, they were a good price, so I picked them up. This is one of those convenience things I purchased. We are going to be doing a couple like Asian style dinners this month because they're super quick, they're super easy. I have rice in bulk, I can make a ton of rice at a time in my Instant Pot and just kind of set it and forget it. So I got these cream cheese wontons, I got two boxes of them, we'll throw these in the freezer. This will be two side dish kind of things for two different meals for us. My kids also love um, like crab ragoons, so I think these will go over well. So I got some of those. This is something I got stocking up heading into summer break. I've been picking up these kind of just a couple cans at a time. The kids also have been eating these a couple cans at a time. This last week was spring break for my kids. So we went through a couple of them. I'm just kind of restocking, but I got a couple cans of SpaghettiOs or pasta rings. I got six of them, and then this is all Aldi had for their tomato soup. Guys, I rave about this tomato soup all the time. My husband does not like tomatoes. It's very finicky when it comes to tomatoes, and he loves this soup. He'll eat it. All of my kids love it. We do this for lunch with grilled cheese or even just crackers and soup. It's so good. So I got two cans because that's all they had. And I'm running low. I love these. They're like, I think they're $2.19 uh, for a can. But just for reference, these are really big cans. They're 18 ounces. One of these cans can feed me and my four kids. My kids are eight and under. Um, easily with some grilled cheese for a lunch. So there's that i got a thing of cottage cheese we haven't had cottage cheese in so long but we got back on the cottage cheese train and we've been using these for like stuffed shells and things just eating the these a bowl full of cottage cheese and like an apple or something for a snack kids are loving it the baby loves it so we're back on the cottage cheese train i got five pounds of butter my aldi finally let go of their limit on butter so i got five pounds of butter We've been using four pounds for a very long time, but I think we're starting to move over to five pounds. We're just going through more of it right now, so this is a month's worth of butter for us. They keep in the fridge. I'll put them in the freezer for long-term storage. Not worried about it. The other thing I got, because my husband is going to be home, because my husband is going to be home quite a bit, just studying, doing computer work, all of those things for the couple, the test he has coming up, his final, and then the competition he has coming up. I wanted to get him some snacks. He loves these hard salamis. Him and I both are trying to do more protein-based snacks right now. So that's where like the cottage cheese comes in. A lot of these hard salamis. We've been doing like hard salami and cheeses and things like that. Even just cottage cheese and a couple of these hard salamis. These are also really good on sandwiches and my kids love them as snacks. So I got three bags. Same thing with these. I can put them in the freezer if I really want to. They hold in the fridge. I've never had these go bad on me. Lots and lots of lunch meat. I figured he's probably, he as in my husband, is gonna be doing a lot of sandwiches. And like I said, the hot ham and cheeses or the grilled cheeses with those tomato soups are perfect. So my, oh yeah. Some of my kids really prefer turkey for their packed lunches. So I got two things of turkey, three things of ham. We put these in our eggs in the morning. We do have laying hens. So we eat eggs almost every single morning. So a lot of where a lot of this ham comes in. I did also get two things of bologna. I got a thing of bologna last month. The kids devoured it. They love them. So we got some bologna. Plus there's this thing. I don't know if anywhere else in the Midwest has this, but there's this thing that we refer to here as Wisconsin sushi, which is just bologna. You smear cream cheese in the middle of it. If you're getting really fancy, you can put a pickle in it or some olives and you roll it up and you would cut it like you would a sushi roll. And we have those at barbecues, funerals, housewarming parties, and it's just Wisconsin sushi. So I don't know if you're anywhere in the Midwest and you also have something similar to that and it's called something different, but 
The kids love those right now. Some of that Wisconsin sushi, we're doing those a lot. I put those in lunch boxes. They also make really good snacks for the kids. So that's what the bologna is for. Two things of tomatoes. I've been getting one for a really long time, but these actually looked pretty good for winter tomatoes. They were a good price, I got two of them. We're gonna put these on burgers. We always find ways to use these. I also got a bag of limes. I actually have these in my cart for Walmart, but they were way cheaper at Aldi. It's not as big of a bag, but that's fine. I just need these. We're gonna be making, I'm gonna be putting my pork roast in my crock pot. We're gonna make uh, shredded pork tacos with them, and I needed lime juice for that. So that's all I needed this for, and then I will save my limes once I juice them, and I'll put them in a half gallon mason jar with some vinegar, and we'll make some lime vinegar cleaning spray. So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. We were talking about how my freezers are full of meat right now. One of those is a por is pork or a hog, and I went to go make an onion soup mix kind of slurry for our pork chops recently realized I didn't have any onion soup mix, so I got this. It's just something I like to keep in the pantry. It's really great on pork chops. I also need some breadcrumbs. I've been out of these for a while and I've been making my own breadcrumbs, which is fine, but this is just way more convenient for me. Four bags of mini carrots. That averages about one bag a week. The kids devour these for snacks. These go in lunch boxes. And I get asked sometimes if my kids or I dip these in ranch. We almost never do. I'm gonna say, this is gonna sound so silly, but probably 10 out of 11 times, we are not dipping these in ranch. We just eat them, same with the cucumbers. Uh, my kids just don't like dips that much. So we just eat these plain. Two English cucumbers, the kids love these. We put these on sandwiches and roll-ups, snacks. You get the gifs. This is something my my son was with me grocery shopping. He saw these and he asked if we could do these. And this was not on my meal plan, but I actually forgot my grocery list at home and my meal plan at home, which rarely happens to me, but it happened to me. I couldn't remember what was all on it, so I figured this could be a replacement meal for something that I missed or just a really easy meal for a day we're putting the trees in, in the orchard, the berries in for the orchard. We can just throw these on the grill and I can prep a pasta salad or something. It'll just be super easy for us. Every once in a while, when the nuts are a good price, I'll get nuts. So my son in particular loves these dry roasted peanuts, the honey roasted peanuts. He'll eat this whole thing. So he asked for these. I got him some peanuts and then they're... Um, Cashews with sea salt were also on sale today. They were under $5 for the tin. So, like I said, more protein snacks, a handful of these, and a string cheese or something. It's a really good snack. So, we did get these, and my husband can also snack on these while he's at the computer doing work or studying or doing flashcards or whatever. So, I got those. We are going to do sliders twice this month. We're gonna do an Italian slider with some of like that ham and the sausage and things and some of that discount cheese my husband's bringing home. And then we're gonna do a burger slider just really easy meals very simple their plain bagels were on sale for a dollar a bag if i had more freezer room i would have gotten more but i just don't so i got two bags of bagels i'm gonna sound like a broken record but i figured these would be great for my husband he can pop these in the toaster in the morning we can make an egg sandwich out of these if he wants really easy things for him to do while he's studying or working or grab a bagel get out to the orchard put a tree in work on the fencing put in mulch, whatever it is. So just easy things to have. I also got four things of tuna for some of those pasta salad, two bags of blueberries. I still had some frozen fruit left over from last month. I have a bag of strawberries and some mixed fruits. The only thing I was out of was blueberries, so I got two bags of those for the kids. These are my store-bought snacks for the kids. I have a couple more down the table, but the kids always like Cheez-Its. We typically will bake these in the oven with some ranch and we'll make a homemade Chex Mix for the kids. So that's what the Cheez-Its are for. Graham crackers are for s'mores. My son loves these fruit snacks, has one every single night before bed. I also got two boxes of these animal crackers. They're more like animal cracker cookies, let's be real, but my baby loves these. They're really easy to just grab. And I wanted to have some of those to be able to just kind of put in a bag and bring her out to the orchard with us to do some work or put in a bowl and just hand it to her. So I did get some of those this month. I also got two things of turkey stuffing mix because we're gonna be doing some meatballs and I'm gonna be using these stuffing mixes as my breadcrumb. 
and then we're gonna do it with gravy and mashed potatoes it's gonna be a great meal so i got two boxes of those this is going to be dinner tonight so we don't always get these cheesy breadsticks but i got them today just because it was just easter it's a day after easter and we had so much fun over spring break and then over the weekend for easter things we just want a really easy night tonight very chill and we're just gonna kind of recoup from the weekend and from spring break which sounds a little silly but that's what the kids want to do they just want to get pizzas and watch a movie and hang out so that's the goal for tonight when the kids get home so because it's supposed to be a little bit more of a relaxing fun night i say that loosely i got some cheese bread these also make a great date night in you guys rent a movie pop in some of these cheese sticks after your kids go to bed play some cards or some cribbage or something and my husband and i do that all the time we'll just buy these i take it out of the box just like this and i'll just put this part in the freezer and we'll do that as a date night and then i did get a pizza the kids really like this mega meat one so that's what i got we got these last month and i got one bag of each so they're freeze-dried dark chocolate covered strawberries and they also have bananas my kids devoured these they loved them everybody really likes these so i got two bags of each they're kind of expensive they're like under four dollars per bag there's not a lot in here there's really not it's a pound just kidding it's 14 ounces so it's less than a pound but they're really good you guys my husband and i are looking at a freeze dryer it's just freeze dryers are such an investment so we're really kind of waiting <laughs> because we have a lot of other things going on like actually putting in the orchard first so i did get two things of the strawberries and two things of bananas the kids love these they just grab one or two pieces and i opened this so i could show you what these look like but they're just little knobs and you can see the strawberry in there they're really good i think my kids would like them more if they weren't dark chocolate but i love them because they're dark chocolate so they're a really fun snack for myself i don't like bananas but i love the strawberry ones so i did get two things of nutella for the kids they always like when i have this so it's just a fun treat for them this was another convenience item for some of those asian style meals we're doing i just got one box of four chicken egg rolls i'll put these in the freezer pull these out for one meal and it'll be great i did also get two things of mayonnaise i've been making my own mayo for about a year but we're heading into a season where i'm going to be using so much mayo with pasta salads and whatnot i just wanted to get some and keep it simple i also another convenience item got some of this orange stir fry sauce really easy it'll be a quick easy meal for us i have some stir fry vegetables still in the freezer from last month that we didn't use so that and some chicken be a really simple easy meal we also use these pretzels for our Chex Mix that we make for the kids with some of those Cheez-Its. I got four bags of Honeycrisp apples. They were a great price. I think I'm going to take a break from the oranges for the kids. And I think I'm going to switch out to pears. We'll see though. I'm going to kind of get their opinion see if they still want oranges. But four bags of apples averages about one bag of apples a week. And that's pretty typical for us. I'm also going to get bananas at Walmart because they were a better price this time. My husband is currently obsessed with these perfect bars. So I've only seen him eating these peanut butter ones but while i was at aldi i saw they also had these chocolate chip cookie dough ones my husband's not a fan of dark chocolate so i these were the only ones that didn't have dark chocolate in them so i got one of each for him and he'll be just really excited when he comes home and sees these in the fridge and he'll put these in his lunch box box bring them to work and do what he wants with them these are just some treats for my husband and myself after the kids go to bed we really like to have a piece of chocolate or something like that my husband like i said does not like dark chocolate so i got him two bars of these milk chocolate with almonds i get him these every month they're his favorite and you know break off a piece and have one after the kids go to bed or when you want a little bit of a snack so those are for him i got these for the first time last month for myself and I loved them. I got this sea salt and caramel um, with, I think this actually is the one I got, sea salt and caramel with dark chocolate. It was phenomenal. And what I didn't realize is these are just little pre-made chocolate bars. I thought they were going to be more like a Hershey's bar where you break them off, but I really, really liked them. Thing of grapes per request. I needed some more coconut oil. I got these. <laughs> Last month, I got the sweet vanilla last month, loved it. So this month, I'm also trying the mocha fudge. We'll see how those go. The kids also really liked these on their hot chocolates. 
I needed some spices. I am going to be getting bulk sizes from Sam's Club, but I'm not going for a couple more days. We have one more snowstorm coming in in tomorrow and the next day. I don't want to go to Sam's Club before a snowstorm. If you know, you know. So I'm going to wait till after that storm. So it's going to be a little bit and I'm completely out. I've been out for probably a week and a half and I just needed some. So I got some seasoned salt, onion powder, cinnamon, and minced onion. Three things of marshmallows. We're going to do some of these for s'mores, but we also like to do Rice Krispie treats. The kids love to make those. So I like to keep these on hand for them. All the berries. Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, a couple boxes of each. These are already gone. Cleo is currently eating a thing of raspberries, and I'm sure they'll be gone before I'm done putting these groceries away, which is fine. Bag of romaine lettuce, and then the only like dinner meat that we got besides the cheddar brats are some chicken. It's the only thing we don't source locally. And we are gonna be doing meat birds here but everything in time. So I got a thing of chicken thighs. I also got a thing of chicken breasts. I still have about three fourths of a bag of chicken breasts left over from last month. So this is just to get us through throughout the month. I'm gonna be doing more pork and more beef because that's what we have uh, taking up a lot of room in the freezers right now. I also got a thing of tortilla chips. The kids love these. We home can a lot of salsa. So salsa and chips the kids really like. But I think we're also going to be doing nachos one time this month just to keep things simple, a really easy meal. Plus, we'll be able to use up some of that budget cheese my husband's bringing home. And then because it is the day after Easter, all their Easter stuff was on clearance. These were $2 an egg. So we picked up two of them. It's just a little activity kit. This one is Bluey themed and this one is Barbie themed just some fun little things. My older girls will like these. They're not really for anyone specifically. They're just little eggs. They were cheap and uh, I know that my kids will like these. So I'll just kind of put these up and whoever feels like coloring can color or use what they want. But it comes with like some paint and some stickers and a stamp book and some stamps and some crayons and some scissors and a little coloring sheet in there. So that is the conclusion of my $318 Aldi haul.